Okay, here we go. So finally we made it to Desert Hot Springs and um, got a bite to eat and am now in what usually, what typically is the hottest of the tubs. It's a little cooler outside today so this it doesn't feel as warm but I'm going to go locate the heating unit. That Okay, so made it to Desert Hot Springs and Desert Hot Springs Spa, my favorite place, I promise you. Um, I'm currently in what usually is the hottest, um, well typically, usually, I'm, like I haven't been here in 10 years, but it's usually the hottest one. It's a little cool outside tonight, so um, it's not as hot as I remember, but um, I'm going to head over to, sorry, there's something, there's a uh, palm tree, let's see, palm trees floating in the water. Anyway, I'm going to check out, there's eight total pools here, so I'm going to go check them out and see if I can find a warmer one. The one right behind me is the cold immersion, so I know I'm not going in there tonight because I have not been able to just like warm up from my whole day, so... So it has been 10 years at least since I have been to Desert Hot Springs Spa, my absolute favorite place uh, in the desert. Sorry I'm moving because the jets are going, but the um, attendant just came over and was like, hey, to take the temperature of this pool. And uh, he's like, man, this one usually is the hottest one. It's usually like 104 and it's not. And he's like, do you want me to heat it up? I'm like, yes, please. It's a little chilly outside as it gets um, in the desert after the sun goes down. So you can, you know, drop 10, 20 degrees immediately as soon as, as, soon as it gets dark. So the fact that he came over and asked that and was like, you know, do you want me to heat this up? Oh, uh, yeah. I love it here. Thing in the desert, plus I don't need to eat food anyway. So, um, no water in the vending machine. So, fortunately, I had water from the airport. And and then I decided I took a little rest and just kind of like, hey, this the day is over, watch it away. And then I went out into the mineral tub. And ooh, let me tell you, that was one. That was some of the best times I've had here. I had basically the whole uh, facility to myself. There are uh, five mineral tubs and then a big pool, which is open now. I noticed when I was looking this up, people were saying that the, the main, main Olympic-sized pool was under construction. It's done. The restaurant is open. Um, karaoke's on Thursday night. <laughs> I'm not going to karaoke, you know? But anyway, so, uh, but anyway, so I got in the mineral tubs. There was one that was just like scorching hot, and one that was really, really nice, but not as hot as I'm used to it, and when I say I'm used to it, I haven't been here in 10 years, but it was normally around 104, and one of the um, attendants, one of the security workers, who also kind of tests the temperature, um, came over and he said it was 98, he was like, you want me to eat this one up? And I was like, yes, please, because it was a little 
chilly last night. So in the 50s and 40s in the desert, it, that's cold. So uh, it was really great. He ended up another guy who was um, staying here for work because they're working on some construction, some um, stores. I think it was a Dollar General in the area. Came in and we just chatted up. He sparked up. I didn't mind. Uh, the hotel didn't mind either. <laughs> and uh, we did the hot and cold because I convinced him to do it so that I would talk myself into doing it. And it was great. We had a nice conversation, learned about him and what they did, and I got to chat a little bit more than I wanted to because, you know, I was trying to be like a Negro. But it was fun. Anyway, uh, just hella confidence going back. So t- today is technically day one of vacation, full day. I went down to the restaurant, um, had a little tea, and um, I asked for a potato scramble because, you know, no eggs. It was okay. The potatoes could have been a little fresher. They looked like they took them off the buffet and just threw them in with some veggies. And I told them, we can get better. <laughs> we can do better at this. It was like the first day of the, the cook, so we're going to try it again. But I am going to order some... Um, groceries from Instacart because I need water and things in the room and I don't need to just keep buying bottles of water. So um, anyway, so welcome to my vacation and I will walk you over to the balcony real quick and then I'm going. I'm going in. Okay, so I'm out on the balcony but I'm gonna I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can see my view from the balcony. So this is partially my view. I actually get to see all of the pools and mineral tubs. And you can see you can see around the corner. There's a few over there. It's just beautiful. And one of my favorite places when I lived in Riverside. So we used to come down and do Sam's Family Spa, which I hope to get to while I'm here. Um, they have four mineral tubs, a pool, and the ducks, they have, that's where the black swan is, so hopefully I get to see the black swan while I'm here. Um, yeah, this is my view, this is wonderful. In fact, I'm going to the jacuzzi tub now, because it was one of the warmer ones, and the, the pool where you see the fountain going off, I don't know if you can see the fountain, Let's, there you go. So that is the cold immersion, and um, so what I try to do is do the warmer pool, probably one of the hotter ones, and then go into the cold immersion and then go back. I try to do that a couple times during a session. So last night I did it twice fully submerged, uh, once with just my ankles because airplanes. And uh, But yeah, so this is my little paradise for the next few days. Okay, so I'm in one of the mineral tubs right now, and um, this one does not have um, jacuzzi. Ooh, that was close. This one does not have um, the jacuzzi jet, but it is still warm, and it's not the hottest one right now because the sun is out. So I'm trying to um, ease my way in. There's one over there that's like 105. I'll probably go into later and possibly tonight. There's another one that's one of four that I think I'll definitely um, be in. It's my favorite. It's the one with the jacuzzi jets. So, okay. I know you saw me cut my eyes and somebody says, but hey, shouldn't be out here. So, this is partially my view. I actually get to see all of the pools and mineral tubs, and you can see, you can see around the corner, there's a few over there. It's just beautiful, and one of my favorite places when I lived in Riverside, so we used to come down and do Sam's Family Spa, which I hope to get to while I'm here. Um, 
they have four mineral tubs, a pool, and the ducks. They have that's where the black swan is. So hopefully, I get to see the black swan while I'm here. Um, yeah, this is my view. This is wonderful. In fact, I'm going to the jacuzzi tub now because it was one of the warmer ones. And the the pool where you see the fountain going off. I don't know if you can see the fountain. Let's, there you go. So that is the cold immersion. And um, so what I try to do is do the warmer pool, probably one of the hotter ones, and then go into the cold immersion and then go back. I try to do that a couple times during a session. So last night I did it twice fully submerged. Uh, once with just my ankles because airplanes. And, uh, but yeah, so this is my little paradise for the next few days. Okay, so a little windy today. This is technically day. Oh my gosh. Hey everybody, Cheryl Wilson here. It has warmed up enough that I think I'm going to go get the, um, ooh, that's moving. I think I'm going to go get one of the mineral stuff. So here we go. Okay, post massage. It's Friday afternoon. One of the best deep tissue massages I've had in a long time. And I needed it. So many knots everywhere. And um, that's just a note to self to not wait so long between uh, massages. So I'm currently in the dry sauna, as you can see, because I'm a little bead of sweat. And just wanted to warm up a little bit because it's kind of cool outside and I have to walk from Miracle Springs back over to Desert Hot Springs Spa. So um, I'm going to get out of here now because I don't want to be sweating. But um, just wanted to kind of warm up the body core a little bit before I walk back outside. But uh, that was an amazing massage. I feel great. Um, I did order some food, so I'm not sure I'm ready to eat now. But I'm going to head back to the room, probably take a little nap, and um, then eat. And then probably head back to the mineral tubs um, this evening. So hopefully the tubs will be warm enough to kind of make up for how cool the temperatures are going to get tonight but if not I'll just get in them in the morning before I head over to the airport to pick up my rental car so yay so I just finished my massage at Miracle Springs and it was amazing I did the deep tissue now I'm just spending a few minutes in the dry sauna to um so this is the jacuzzi tub Oh, the on the bottom of that because when it's windy, oh, they don't even see the, the little see the little seeds down there. They get in the pool, but they've done a really good job of cleaning everything out since the wind the other day. Okay, this is the cold immersion pool at Desert Hot Springs Spa. This water is ice cold, so the idea is that you go from the hot to the cold and do that a couple times right and then uh, for inflammation you know any kind of pain in your joints or low back or just to cool off because you know i've been in the hot uh, 105 i thought it was 103 i think it was 103 when i got in but it has warmed up so uh, i actually put my face in this to try to get rid of those little last little lines around my eyes so let's see i'm going to do this for a few minutes and then until i start like shivering and actually getting cold right now um, the initial kind of jump in was cold um, but because i have my body temperature was so hot from being in that other pool it's actually quite comfortable it's like you know being in a uh, regular pool in the summertime so um, but I can tell it's I'm starting to get a little cold but uh, not to, so I'm gonna put my face in and um, I don't know if I can show you that because I don't know where I'm wet. Oh, let's see. Okay, yeah, 
that's not gonna work. <laughs> You'll see. Put my face in a couple times, and then um, I'll head back over to. I think I'm gonna go over to the jacuzzi one because it's not as hot, and uh, maybe just like temper it a little bit. Go to that one, come back in here, and then go back into the hot. So I check out at 11, so it's just now 8.23, so I got plenty of time. <laughs> happy face. <laughs> it is happy face. So, still not getting the band two knots wet. I'm going to take him down tonight for Lisa's party, so. Okay, finally got to do some shopping at Cabazon. Very excited. Did find... Uh, boots at Steve Madden to wear with my dress tonight since it's going to be too cold to wear sandals and I didn't get a chance to get a pedicure so <laughs> okay so now at the Dallas Drive annual Christmas party in La Palma, California. My friend Lisa Molina from Safety Source. Kevin, I saw Eric. Crazy. Her son is an adult, grown ass man. I knew him when he was a kid. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, so this street, it's a cul de sac, and every house decorates video camera's not really doing it justice tonight, so. But every, oof, that's even worse. So this is a bittersweet memory right now. I just had a little uh, flashback. Um, Sean and I came to one of these parties and we sat probably in this same little bench um, or at least near that fire pit. I think right, right where I'm sitting now. And we just talked and uh, we talked to each other the whole night. Even though we lived together, we drove down together. Uh, it was it was probably one of our uh, our greatest moments because we just talked and connected here. So nice memory. Okay, everybody, I'm on the road, leaving Orange County, heading back to Desert Hot Springs. It is Sunday, so I have today and tomorrow, and then I leave Tuesday afternoon. So I am going to go soak up all the minerals that I can over the next day and a half. Uh, well, two days, actually. I don't know. I, I don't do math. <laughs> anyway, t today tomorrow so two and a half days how about that Cheryl Silly. but anyway I had a great time at Lisa's party uh, you know sometimes I forget that I'm an introvert going to a place where I only know a couple of people but I still had fun in the way that introverts do and I always uh, get a kick out of Lisa Molina and her crew so it was great to see everybody again uh, Yay, introverts. All right, bye.
Okay, everybody, so uh, a little bit of Cheryl history here. This is the historic John J. Hewitt House in downtown Riverside. And uh, Miss Liz, the lady who used to live here, she passed away, God rest her soul. Um, I used to rent rooms after I sold my house and was coming back and forth. I stayed in this house so a few times when I would come back to teach. This is where I stayed. So it's all decked out for the holidays. I had to take a little detour on my way back to um, Desert Hot Springs to pass by my old rental place by Miss Liz's. This is the John J. Hewitt house and I used to live here. Okay, so this I couldn't resist coming by 4251 Quail Road. So this is my house when I lived in Riverside. I installed that roof. <laughs> yes, I did. I took almost all of my retirement money from uh, from GM. But oh, wow, this is my house. <laughs> you guys. Okay, this is where Precious and I used to walk. It's a little different. Because I thought, I thought we used to come in on that side. This is the trail for sure. Huh. Okay, so this is new to me in Riverside. <laughs> These are just some wild donkeys. Uh, the girl in Goodwin said she thinks that they um, are from Marina Valley and they just come down and graze and then they walk back. They, I saw them up further up the street. <laughs> And now they're all the way down here and I just had to get out. And hello. Okay, so back in Desert Hot Springs, this is the Miracle Spring Spa. I just did a walkthrough when I came in. Um, I'll take some pictures out either today or tomorrow out in their, their pools and spas. Um, so I'm recording this on both the TCL and the Pixel 3XL. Uh, and already I'm looking at the lighting and the Pixel is just brighter. And anyway, this is the fit. Feeling confident. Took the band two knots out for uh, yesterday's party in Orange County, so uh, probably won't get my hair, wash my hair this morning uh, at the hotel there, probably won't get my hair wet in the tubs tonight, but tomorrow I plan on going over to Sam's family and I will let all those minerals get in the locks because those things are amazing, that, the tubs there are just amazing, so I haven't experienced these yet, so this, this will be my first time in these tubs. They're partner, sister companies. They're owned by the same people, so I don't expect um, too much difference, but one of the um, workers at, the guy who was cleaning pools, who was also a uh, full-time butcher, by the way, said that the pools here, all of them have jets, and that they get a little hotter. So, let's see. I've waited a little later in the day to get in the tubs here, so, um, Hopefully it's cool enough outside so that the, the heat from the, the pools is amazing. But anyway, so this is the first day wearing this suit here. I've had basically a, a different suit on every day because, yeah. And I, I've seen one in the gift shop that I'm probably also going to get. So it'll replace the oldest one that I brought with me. Okay, got to go. Okay, so now you know why I had the Bantu knots when I was at uh, the other spa. So I'm back in the water again. Took my hair down last night for the Christmas party, the big uh, La Palma Dallas Drive Christmas bash at the Molinas. And washed it this morning because it needed it. And, uh, but now my hair's down and I'm back in the water. So. 
trying to get it out of the way because wet hair is too cold when it's a little chilly outside. So this is uh, Miracle Spring Spa, which is the sister property of the place I've been. And uh, I'll turn the camera around a little bit and let you see, like from my view, but um, a lot greener. <laughs> One of the pool uh, workers at the other place told me this was the bougie version of uh, the springs. The hotel room is, a little, uh, you know, a little nicer. The hotel is newer, um, so it's a little nicer than the one across the street. But uh, so interesting. All of the uh, pools here have jets. So, um, so across the way, oh, there's a straggler. Across the way, um, only one of them had. Yes, maybe maybe two, and um, and this is pretty hot, so I'm excited. It's a little cooler, like in the low 60s, so cooler outside. Um, I drove back from Orange County today, stopped over in Riverside, um, looked at some of my old stomping grounds, including my old house and my old rental that I used to stay in when I would come back after my house sold, and. Uh, Stopped by my old grocery store, uh, Goodwin's Organic, which it was it was awesome to see those kids all grown up. Which I, I didn't say that to them, but it was it was really interesting to see them. And then uh, at least one of them was there, maybe two of them were there. And uh, so anyway, so I'm back here, took a little break, had some fruit, and um, obviously didn't rest my eyes because. Uh, driving for a couple of hours in LA traffic forget about it <laughs> so I am going to uh, just chill I didn't want to get out here in the heat of the day today just because the Sun was so bright and I've already got my tan on so uh, ooh, is that a mosquito oh, that's not gonna be cool uh, anyway so I've got the uh, pixel 3 XL right now this just does better at night and when there's not a lot of light. So come on, Pixel 6 Pro. Better be there when I get home. Yes, I did have to go ahead and reorder it because the TCO, I mean, photos from last night were just not great. I was so disappointed that I didn't bring the 3XL um, because night sight, the T TCO did not have night sight. Like, what the heck? Anyway. <laughs> This is my view as soon as I turn the heck around, and then I'll let you see a little bit more. All right, so here we are at Miracle Spring Spa. Okay, here's today's fit. So uh, this is the last suit in the rotation of suits that I brought. Okay. This is the infamous Sam's Family Spa. I'm so excited to be here. So according to uh, <laughs> one of the workers over there who was uh, cleaning the pools, uh, who is also a professional butcher, by the way, and cleans the pools here on uh, the weekends, he called this the bougie version of, uh, <laughs> of the two spas. Okay, we're finally in the tubs, the pools at Sam Family. This, the place across the street was more concrete um, and a little less decorative. The hotel is certainly newer than the one across the street, so the room's a little nicer. You don't get the kind of odor from uh, decades uh, of uh, things but it's really really nice here and um, all of the jet all so of the pools here, here feeding the ducks. So have jets so only a couple to give them one at least so over across, across the, across the look way at how has jets they just, maybe two like, but I'm, all right, I'm pretty I'm sure out. just the one but all of the mineral pools the little smaller ones have jets which is great and okay I'm so move over I'm to the jet as soon as Sam I finish Family recording spa. here I had an amazing day in those pools. It's the best water. I may come back. I've got a four o'clock massage, but whew, Sam's family, you the best. 
Okay, so I have just risked uh, life and limb driving to Palm Springs to try out Native Foods Cafe. It's a vegan restaurant. And let me just say, the streets are so dark. <laughs> this is my first time driving at night, and I mean, come on. Okay, final day in the desert. Um, back at Miracle Springs Spa. I was pretty early in the morning. I got up at like, I don't know, five or six. I never uh, did the change in time. So I was, you know, in bed at eight o'clock and up at five o'clock. So anyway, uh, I did get a lot of sleep even. I might not look like it, but I feel pretty good today. So uh, it's a little sprinkly outside. Uh, as you can see, overcast. They're supposed to have a uh, rainstorm today and snow in the mountains. So looks like the rain might be coming down a little more. So I don't know how long I'll be out here, but for now, I'm going to get a little last bit of uh, hot tub again. Uh, and like I said, the, the water here isn't as great as uh, next door or even at Sam's Family. Sam's Family is the bomb. And uh, so, ooh, the rain's coming down more, but that's fun. Okay, so I thought I would, uh, since the rain has kind of slowed down, it's just sprinkling now, just do a little quick walk around of the pools here at Miracle Spring. So, my room is back there. So there's a, there's a tub there, pool there. And they all have jacuzzi tubs. You can see kind of the overcast. I'm gonna try to walk softer. I had no idea how heavy I walked until I don't have a gimbal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll walk over here. This lady is very smart because this one has a canopy over it, so I'm gonna go back in there. And it's very warm as well. So. so there's one there, pretty big. There's the main pool, and then um get a better look of the main pool so I'm cooling off a little bit so I'll probably have to get back in the hot water quickly okay. I haven't really done this there's actually a, a small one over there but I think there's people in it and I don't want to freak them out like a little tiny almost personal one I saw couples in there before, but you can't see the mountains today, but it's still a very beautiful place. Okay, so part two of today's fit. So this is my, the oldest suit, the one I planned to wear on my last day and then chuck it in the garbage. But it is my favorite uh, fit, but you can see like all the ruching is gone. <laughs> I've had this for years. Used to be my water aerobic suit. It all it's been everywhere. So anyway, feeling great today. Some surprises uh, yesterday after my massage, but I will keep that off of public uh, consumption. <laughs> but I also will take back the the pools at Miracle Springs are trash because I think just the one I was in. Um, the first night was just really chlorinated. So today it's been a little cloudy and rainy. And so I went to multiple ones and uh, ones without the really strong jets, the water's fine. Not Sam's family fine, but fine. And uh, so it was raining a little bit and I was in the tub, uh, one of the pools that had kind of a canopy. So I'm gonna go back. I needed to come in and, uh, what did I come to get? Oh, I wanted to get my eye uh, covers because I'm gonna put some tea bags on my eyes. <laughs> because yes, I'm still kind of battling 
the tired eye syndrome, even though I have slept really well. And although I have not uh, changed times really well, I've still slept well and rested well. So I'm gonna put some uh, tea bags on my eyes for a few minutes, just so um, they can get some rest with the sun coming up. All right, but today is the last day. Uh, I'll show you my travel fit. <laughs> it's gonna be kind of janky, but I'll be comfortable and I'll be in first class. So there's that. <laughs>